At the 2022 Winter Olympics, ice skaters are performing jumps that were once thought to be almost impossible. Why is it so hard to accomplish these literally head-spinning feats? In figure skating, a quad jump is achieved when a figure skater jumps and spins in the air four times. Sounds simple and looks beautiful, but it's no easy feat, not even for Olympic figure skaters. Quadruple jumps have typically only been performed by men, and even for men they used to be rare. Now though, they become something of a mainstay. At the 2018 Winter Olympics, Nathan Chen, also known as the Quad King, set a new record when he made six quadruple jumps. As explained by Scientific American, this is an astonishing accomplishment due to the complexity of the jump. One, two, three, four, lands it on one foot, hangs onto it long enough, doesn't put the other foot down. That is a clean quad. To pull off a quad, a skater must be in the air for at least 0.65 to 0.7 seconds. Within that minuscule amount of time, they must somehow complete four full rotations of their body, reaching rotational speeds of almost 500 RPM. If this wasn't hard enough, they also have to land gracefully while their body is generating immense force. In other words, the jump pushes the athlete to the extreme. James Richards, a biomechanist, told Scientific American in 2014 that he believes that the quad may be the physical limit of what's possible in terms of a figure skating jump. Olympic figure skating coach Tom Zakrajic disagreed, thinking a quintuple jump could be possible, but he did concede that the strain of a quad jump is already massive. He explained, In a quadruple jump, you are landing with seven times your body weight. That is a lot of force. When they fall on a jump like that, some say it feels like their intestines end up in their throat. Despite the fact that men have historically led the way on quadruple jumps, women seem to be taking the reins at the 2022 Winter Olympics in Beijing. On February 7th, Olympic history was made when Camila Valieva became the first female ever to land a quad at the Olympics. And that wasn't all. In another Olympic first, she did it twice in one routine. While the 15-year-old Russian attempted a third quad jump, she ended up falling instead. But despite the one flub, she earned her team gold. One commentator noted that the historic moment would be talked about for the next 100 years. Athletes in the international skating community have expressed shock at how quickly the quad jump has taken hold in women's figure skating, spearheaded by groundbreaking Russian skaters like Valieva. In elite-level skating, the move has gone from being thought of as almost impossible to being considered basically mandatory. American skater Mariah Nugasu summarized the situation to the cut by saying, The expectation that the women who are winning medals will have, at a minimum, one quad is a little bit unfathomable. There are a few reasons for this. As more coaches and skaters become familiar with the technique, it becomes easier to teach and learn, and advancements in ice skate designs have also made the move more viable for more people. It's still incredibly difficult, but thanks to athletes like Camila Valleva, the unfathomable is becoming real. The notion of men and women both accomplishing quad jumps in competition has been decades in the making. Skater Kurt Browning was the first person to successfully land a quadruple jump in the 1988 World Figure Skating Championships. The first attempt made by a woman was in 1990 by Surya Bonali. Despite being able to land quads in practice, she was unable to do so in competition. In 2001, female figure skater Sasha Cohen landed quads during practice but decided against attempting them during competition. In 2002, 14-year-old Mickey Ando made history when she became the first woman ever to land a quadruple jump in competition at the Junior Grand Prix Final. She later stated that the quad for her was no big deal and that she saw it as a natural progression from single, double, and triple jumps. It would be 15 years until anyone would land the quad after Ando. In 2018, a then 13-year-old Alexandra Trusova landed two, including a quad Salkow and a quad toe loop in a single routine. In 2019, Elisa Liu became the first American woman to land a quad at the 2019 Junior Grand Prix. She was only 14 years old. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite athletes are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.